very nice. a good result. My instruction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service.
Allies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. difference between victory and defeat.
I'm not at my best today. Will this make me stronger? I doubt I could ever achieve that much alone. come in handy not that there's any point in me getting stronger we've definitely got some work to do Fascinating. That felt good. Let's do it again. This will help me break new back. There's any. Hey, I'm getting. We were in fine form today. Yeah. One step at a time. Even a mule will eventually reach its destination. This power will serve me in the times to come. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat.
proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Ferdinand, I hadn't realized you'd return to the palace. Yes, here I am. Not that I have official business like you. Then why come such a long way? Ah, I see. You're here to visit your father. I am ashamed to say this was my first time seeing him in his cell. My father insisted I stay away for my own safety. Though I must confess, the dungeon was not the horrid place I had imagined it to be. I was envisioning, you know, fiery hot pokers, spikes, and that manner of thing. Oh. Then it may interest you to know that we do actually have such a dungeon. I've only seen it once myself. It's further down from where we're keeping the former duke. It's a dismal place. One where rats scurry to and fro. Rats? I do not imagine Father would cope well with that at all. While he did look haggard, it sounds as though his treatment could be far, far worse. We're doing our best to keep him in good health. The rest will depend on his frame of mind. Well, you will hear no complaints from me. I care only that he is kept alive and given a fair trial, and that his punishment fits the crime, of course. You'd better speed things along then, because Hubert is quickly losing patience. A fact of which I am very well aware. The problem is that I remain unable to connect my father to many of the acts he is accused of. Perhaps you're wasting your time. A noble as powerful as your father could easily have documents forged and witnesses bought off. Any records that remain will be considered far too dubious to prove guilt or innocence. Another fact I am very much aware of. In truth, I already found proof some time ago. Proof of his corruption, that is. I discovered it while looking through his tax records. When I realized what he had done, I was ready to serve him up to the authorities myself. Your own father? I'm surprised to hear you say that. I mean it. I thought I could carefully build a solid case against him while studying at the academy. However, you had him clapped in irons before I could have my case organized. <laughs> now there is a bit of comedy. I idolized my father ever since I was a child. Yet I had to push those feelings aside in order to muster the anger to punish him. Now I find myself trapped between both of those emotions with no resolution in sight. I see. And tell me, is that the end of your story? I thought you were going to become Prime Minister, keep me in line, surpass me even. Oh, uh, well... I did not mean... You can still share words with your father and see him punished for his crimes, you know. So, if you desire resolution, start resolving matters. It's never too late. to make yourself useful? We all must do our fair share. My instruction comes at a high price.
Don't neglect your daily studies. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. Wait, for me? Great. I love this stuff. Oh, this looks great. I'm gonna demolish this puppy for sure. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. I'm glad it is not just you and me alone, Your Majesty. Or else I would be reduced to a blubbering idiot. Well, I'm certainly glad we avoided that. Although, does that mean you're a blubbering idiot all the other times we're alone? Come back whenever you're hungry. Bye. 
this is true. Got a sec? Sure. Sure. friend. something is this it Sit.
Now see here. Wait a moment. A moment of your time. So be it. By the way, By the way, Could you spare a moment? Hi there. Absolutely. Come here. Listen up. Let's see. Excuse me. Hmm. 
must be telling you. So basically... Yes. Excuse me. May I ask for your ear? Sure thing. What's on your mind? I have the desire to be learning more about mercenaries. It is a subject of much fascination to me. Uh, sure, I guess. But I think you've heard most of the exciting bits by now. Nonsense. Each word you speak is full of excitement. Please give me more illumination. For example, are you receiving payment for your work here? Sure. Me and Edelgard have a contract. Lucrative one, too, as these things go. Guess the boss thinks pretty highly of me. You said money was of importance for people who sell their swords. But what if an enemy offered a bigger payment? Would you be taking it? than that to get a true merc to switch sides. Still, if an enemy can outbid your current employer, it means they've got a good shot at winning. And nobody who enjoys breathing wants to wind up on the losing side. So in Fodlin, one must try to be allies with the side that has more richness? See, that's the thing. Trust is its own currency, too. I mean, let's say someone shows up with a pile of gold and asks you to switch sides. Tempting, right? But you gotta be careful. You could take them up on their offer, only to learn that the money was just bait, and the guy actually wants you dead. And to make things worse, the honest employer you just stabbed in the back now knows you're as reliable as a three-legged horse. Point is, integrity means more to a mercenary than money. Probably should have led with that, actually. I have understanding. Trust is of importance to everyone, but that has even more truth for a seller of swords. You got it. Oh, and trust me, folks who hire for the best jobs make sure to know everything about you before extending the offer. But there's a flip side to that coin. If you're the type of employer who likes to leave mercs in the lurch, you better believe that word will get around. Hard enough to stay alive without that nonsense. That is a thing we all share in common. We wish to keep breathing, as you said. And what if I was offering a job? We are on the same side. Would that be betrayal? Bridget is a land of richness. We can offer much in exchange for the selling of your sword. Sounds tempting, but eh, I can't. I've got to see my current contract through first. Also, didn't we just get done discussing how terrible it is to abandon a job before it's done? <laughs> I knew you would be declining. You are the model of a mercenary. Do you 
have a moment. So basically... Mm -hmm. If I may. Must be telling you. carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 See you again soon. I must be telling you. Yes, let us get these horses on the road. Shall we be using the time? It is so wide and open here. We are not having grasslands like this in Bridget. Bridget is between Fodlin and Dagda. We are getting many ideas from both. Word is a bond. Mm -hmm. 
I thought Fodlin's army would be highly disciplined, but instead, the rules are having much flexibility. I have agreement. I read books before coming to Fodlin. I wanted to be preparing, but it was still a thing of difficulty. Wonderful! The mark on my face? It is a prayer to the spirits. <laughs> no! <laughs> Braiding my hair like this is challenging, but I find it an enjoyable time. You look well. <laughs> you look well. Wonderful. Ugh. Braiding my hair like this is challenging, but I find it an enjoyable time. Ugh. Wonderful. Hello. No! We must speak. How are your feelings? The fabric has much lightness, so I can avoid enemy attacks. I am not needing thick armor. <laughs> Huh? Ah. <laughs> no! The fabric has much lightness, so I can avoid enemy attacks. I am not needing thick armor. Ah. No! You look well. Yes? Yes? Ugh. Yes? The fabric has much lightness, so I can avoid enemy attacks. I am not needing thick armor. Huh? You look well. <laughs> Wonderful. You look well. This is giving me great joy! This brought great enjoyment. We should do it again. planned out but I don't want to be dragged around I don't think I like 
like it here. It's way too open. Where are the walls and stuff? I made us some sweets. Want to eat them now? You know, this war would be over tomorrow if we all decided to just stay home with the door shut. time. so I pulled it up like this instead. I guess it sort of works? Oh no! Nice weather we're having! Amazing! <laughs> what? What? my hair so I pulled it up like this instead. I guess it sort of works. Nice weather we're having. Oh no! Don't worry. Don't worry. Is everything okay? <laughs> Do you like these tassels? I made them myself. Well... Um, hey! Well... Looking for me? Amazing! Is everything okay? <laughs> Do you like these tassels? I made them myself. Sure, okay. Amazing! <laughs> Is everything okay? <laughs> oh no! Um, hey! Why are you looking at me like that? Whatever you think I did, I totally didn't do it! Um, hey! Is everything okay? Sure, okay.
Bernadetta, what's wrong? Is there a rat in the base? Wait, a rat? Nobody told me about a rat! Oh no, oh no, oh no! It's gonna nibble on all my snacks! Hey, calm down. I didn't mean a real rat. I, I was talking about an enemy spy or something. Oh, right. Anyway, it's something kind of like that, but different and still really, really bad. Kind of like a spy, but different? Slow down and tell me what you saw. Well, you see, there was this lady in the camp earlier who didn't look scary at all and even seemed kind of nice. and fear of strangers got you down, huh? Let's see if I have something that can help. Thanks. Hmm. I think I've got just the herb. It's gonna put you out a good few gold coins, but this baby will do wonders for relieving stress. And then... Ah, I've got something a little more, shall we say, tasteful. Real, under-the-table kind of stuff. It's a pot that makes people like you. I would probably recommend against it, but the thing's on sale if you really want it. Uh, you okay there? I just remembered something! Oh, how could you forget, Bernie? There are lots of scary people out there who pretend to look nice just so they can prey on you! And you must be one of them! Well, that was weird. I'm not that scary, am I? And that's how it all happened. I would have been dragged up and murdered if it wasn't for you! But wasn't that just Anna? She's here all the time selling her wares. I mean, not all of it's the most reputable stuff, but I don't think she's trying to cheat anyone. And she's definitely not a murderer. This is all my fault. I should go apologize to her later. Huh? She's not... evil? <laughs> not that I know of. I I'm also pretty sure it's not the first time you've met her. I don't know! I'm bad with faces! You're pretty judgmental, you know that? Huh? What do we do? What do we do? How about this? There's this merc I've got in my crew. A real terrifying looking hunk of muscle. Sweetest little teddy bear on the inside, though. If anyone's gonna help you overcome this, it's him. Okay, I accept this challenge. You've got this, Bernie. Well, well, hello, you. Mmm, we have some truly capable people here. Mmm, we have some truly capable people here. Come back soon, all right? Which battlefield are you headed to?
have to do my best. Who, me? Fine. What's the plan? I fight for my land of home. We have a duty to fulfill. Understood. Send a flower to battle, and watch it bloom. We will be making it through this. We can't afford... Begin. The Sky Spirit watches... Here goes. 
Let's fight together. I'll do my best. I'll back them up. Leave this one to me. Looks like you could use some help. To lose any. One here. <laughs> Hurry. Let's just try not to get killed. <laughs> We're in bad shape over here! Here goes. Leave this one to me. Looks like you could use some help. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Begin. I will help. I'll do my best. Help out. Yeah, all right. I have finished with great success. Here goes. Let's fight. Leave this to me. Here goes. My turn. Leave this one to me. Looks like. Leave this to me. My turn. I'm swapping in. Watches over me. Here goes. This should do it. Now die. Leave this one to me. Looks like you could use some help. My turn. Yeah. Is it my turn? You are mine! 
No matter what, I will not misplace my heart. You'll have to take things from here. Can't fight like this. I'm bleeding all over the place. All done. What is the next order? All we've got? Preparing for more. You're incredible, Petra. Just be careful you don't get hurt. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Begin. I will help. I'll take over. That was close. in my mouth. I'm so glad we have you here. Let's take it for ourselves. Okay, we did it. Can I take a nap now? Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Leave this one to me. Use some help. Begin. I'm swapping. I'll take over. My turn. Have 
to keep the momentum going. Never possessed a hope of catching us. War feeds my body and mind. Best to keep your expectations low. I think this means you can make me do more. I work to grow.
What did your investigation uncover, Hubert? It appears those who slither in the dark had nothing to do with any of this. This plot was hatched by Houses Regan and Gloucester alone. In other words, we know exactly where the idea to encircle our troops came from. Claude Von Regan, leader of the Alliance. He is going to be a true thorn in our side now that he is in charge. Back when Duke Regan had no clear heir, the Lords were busy maneuvering to be next in line. Then Claude appeared in an instant and laid claim to the seat of power. We were hoping that would be enough to throw the Alliance into disarray, but he has done a remarkable job of seizing the reins. Feigning discord with Gloucester while they privately schemed together was an especially nice touch. Sadly, it seems we're facing a gifted tactician as well as a skilled leader. Yet for a tactician, he woefully underestimated Count Burgley's. I say we finish his education. It is time Claude learns the gulf between his power and the Empire's cannot be bridged with a few clever tricks. <laughs>